Hi, I'm Eleanor, and as you can probably tell, I love books, but I also love bookshops, specifically independent bookshops. I love the fact that you can walk into a bookshop and see all these hundreds and thousands of physical books and know that there's all these stories which you can just find out about just by reading it that you have no idea about. With independent bookshops, you know that your money is specifically going back into the bookshop and will help it go further. And so because of that, I'm going to share with you today my top five independent bookshops in the UK. Obviously, I've only been to so many bookshops that I can choose from, but these are my favourite both in London and outside of London. Coming in at number five is the Minister Bookshop, which is in York. This is just by the cathedral, I think, and it's kind of um, like a little alley, and then it's on the right with the cathedral in front of you, and it's incredible. So we went up there when we visited York a couple of years ago, and there's just books everywhere. It's amazing. One of the books I got from there was The Fantastical Imaginations, The Supernatural in Scottish uh, history and culture edited by Lizianne Henderson. Uh, I have yet to read this, but it looks really really interesting um, And yeah, it's basically about different legends and myths kind of in Scotland York is such a lovely place and this bookshop just really made the trip for me I feel it had old books and new books and you know specifically antique books and it had just all these different types of books and it was just a lovely place to visit Number four is the bookshop in Wigton. Um, as I mentioned in my August book haul, um, we went to Wigton, which is Scotland's national book town, and one of the bookshops that I went into was the bookshop, and I think it's Scotland's oldest bookshop. When you go in, um, on the right hand side, there's uh, just, you know, the, um, the kind of penguin orange copies which look like these, so uh, I think it would have these, they were just all lined up on this um, bookshelf, like hundreds of them, maybe not hundreds, but a lot, um, just all lined up with their spine facing outward and it was really like cute and orange and it was just aesthetic and then you go in and obviously um, they have the signs and um, you know towards, there's lots of different rooms, I think it might have been like an old house converted into a bookshop and there's lots of different rooms and there's like a map as soon as you go in and uh, you go in through the kind of the main entrance and one of my favourite things was that um, there was like a little kind of alcove and I think that was for children's books but there was also like a um, uh, plant pot which was kind of like a Greek, uh, the, like the head of like a Greek sculpture which they put plants in which was really really sweet and then um, there were stairs kind of going like quite lot like wide stairs going up and round to the next floor and all along the stairs was the classic so obviously I was there um, and they had just have really interesting books and I, I went there obviously uh, in the summer and then I went there a few years ago and I just love going in there and looking at all the books and then again it's second hand you know they're quite cheap and it's just, you just find stuff that you wouldn't ever expect to. Number three is Hellenic and this is up in North London and it's specifically for like classics and you know ancient Greek and Roman books and um, I went in with Imogen who was uh, joining me for my Cursed Child video and we went in and it is basically any classicist dream. You go in and there's all these, like, there's textbooks and everything and um, as we walked in, the kind of, the bell rang and the woman was like, oh, what are you looking for? And I was specifically looking for something for my EPQ, so something in gender and sexuality or lyric poetry. And so she she told us exactly where it was and it just felt really welcoming. She asked us, you know, oh, are we on summer? Are we kind of, like, doing university, doing A-levels and whatnot? And it just felt really, really welcoming. And then you go downstairs into the basement and there is just, you know, floor to ceiling, ugh, loads of books. And then on the floor as well, there were books of, um, boxes even, of books. Um, which kind of looked like this, so this isn't actually from there, um, but this is upside down, this is Cicero, um, and they were kind of in Latin and Greek, and um, they were only, I think, a couple of pounds or something like that. I didn't get any, because I didn't need them or anything, um, but that was really interesting, and there's just lots of different books, yeah, and so there was lots of just different classicist books and it was really interesting to see kind of the breadth that you could find. Um, 
Number two is the London Review Bookshop, which is obviously again in London um, and it's in Bloomsbury just off the British Museum. So whenever I go to the British Museum I sometimes, I often kind of just pop in because I, it's such a lovely bookshop. So for starters there's a cafe right next door and if that doesn't count for something, you know, it's a lovely cafe. Um, they have wonderful books and then they also have a lovely downstairs area and there's poetry and plays and classics and you know all these sorts of things and it's just a lovely bookshop in the heart of Bloomsbury. And finally my current favourite independent bookshop, although it probably will change, is uh, Voltaire and Rousseau. So this is a bookshop in Glasgow in the West End and I mentioned it in my August book haul and let me tell you it is the most incredible bookshop I have ever been to. It's tucked away like down a side residential street and then down like another tiny side street so you have to know where it is in order to find it and even when we were kind of arrived there we were like is this it? Is it open? It's just so unassuming. Um, so you walk in in the first little room all of these books are one pound and there are books everywhere. It's like so there's, it's their shelves in the first room, but then p after that the books are just stacked in front of the shelves and then um, you go into the other room and there's, it's like, you go, you have to go around it in a U shape, so the tills on your left when you go through and then you, you turn right and you have to go like, there's bookshelves on either side as you walk, as you're walking round um, and Honestly, it's like an Aladdin's cave. There are so many books and it, it's in some sort of order, but not really. Like you have like rough sections. So there's like a bit on plays and then a bit on classics and a bit on history. So you can't go in there expecting to buy and to find a specific book because you have no idea what's going to be in there. It's more about like finding something you never thought you would read or you never, you weren't specifically looking for, but you'd kind of, previously would be like oh it'd be nice to have that because it's second hand they're all very very cheap and by the till there were books like stacked up all almost all the way to the ceiling and it just felt so you felt really at home because you know everyone else there loves books just as much as you do and it was an incredible experience so those are my top five independent bookshops in the UK. Let me know if you've been to any of them or you have any to suggest that I could go to and what are your favourite independent bookshops in your country or wherever you are in the world. I know that there's an amazing one in Greece, which I can't quite remember the name off the top of my head, um, but someone I know went there and it's, it's from her pictures, it was absolutely incredible. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon, goodbye.